The spirit of Silly Key has always been simply the best. The quality, the deliciousness of the food, it's just simple, no matter what your choice is. My husband, Eudoxy, and I started Silly Key in 1985 when we relocated from Atlanta, Georgia with our 10-month-old oldest son, Alexander. Growing up on the island, different, you know, um, learn, I had to learn to swim as, about as quick as I learned to walk. There are a lot of fishing, looking for soldier crabs. So it's basically like I grew into it, like it was my playground. So the very first time he brought me in 1980, uh, we went out with his family and of course stopped at Silly Key and did a lobster roast over here. So the next couple of times we came before Alexander, we thought, boy, this would be a great place uh, to just have a like gourmet lunch and people spend the day and socialize, swim and snorkel, sunbathe, listen to some music, enjoy delicious food. And we went to the government with a proposal and they gave us a 99 year lease. So we sold everything in Atlanta, moved down here Valentine's Day of 85 and opened in October of that same year. And the very next year, our second son, Brandon, joined us. So we've always been a family restaurant. The boys have always helped out and they're always here. And we wanted Silly to be a place that families would come and enjoy and everything's natural. We've tried to incorporate the conch shells for our conch shell walls, driftwood as part of our highlighted features on the island. And the other thing that we really like, just everything low key for the beauty of our surroundings to be the focal point of Silly Key. Also our great food and it is a wonderful presentation as well. <laughs>